The Collapse Polygons command replaces selected polygons with a single point at their average position. So if I were to go ahead and select, say, these polygons right here, we need to know that um, I'm also, by selecting these polygons, I'm also selecting you know, the points that make up these polygons, and there are points that are being shared by other polys, okay, the, the bordering polys. But whenever I select this geometry and go over to the Construct tab, under reduce more collapse polygons it takes all the points that that those polys um, were made up of and collapses it down to one point okay so it's a quick way to get all of the those points down to one point now well, why would why would we need this well one thing that I can think of if let's go to four windows and I'm gonna come over to the create disk tool I'm just going to create an eight-sided, it's got eight sides on the disk, and I've got these n-gons. Well, if I were to take these n-gons, these polygons that have more than uh, four points, and I hit E for extender plus, I just created a whole new row of geometry. It's right on top of everything, but if I were to then go over to construct collapse polygons, I've just created poles at the end of my disks. If I take the knife tool, just add a couple segments, okay. come over here, merge with shift Z, I'm just merging those those poly pairs there. And now if I hit tab, I've got an all quad disk. Okay. So it's just one one use of the collapse poly. So it you take some polygons, select them, hit E to extend them, which creates a whole new row around there. And if you go over to Construct, Collapse Polygons, it collapses them down into triangles because what it does is it collapses them down to where all those points get merged into one point here in the center. And then if you want, you can go and merge them back with Shift Z. So that's just a quick look at Collapse Polygons found under the Construct tab under Reduce more collapsed polygons.